Um, so now we're gonna teach you bat mom. Um, grand bat mom. So grand means big, bat mom means kick, big kick. They're fun. Again, don't let the fun go ahead and do weird <laughs> things to your body. Um, and we're gonna repeat a lot of the same stuff we've already yeah. talked about, but again, that's what ballet is. Repetition, yeah. repetition, right. repetition, and a teacher telling you, turn out, turn out, turn out, turn out, until finally you're like, turn out, it's registered. Yeah. 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 By this point, we're in fifth position normally in class. Um, Abama brushes the floor, we go through that pretty demi point to tandu, we go through the degage, and then we get the leg as high as we can, which will be easier when it's not as slow. <laughs> Um, so through tandu, through degage, all the way up as high as you can, and then back to close. You want to think fast up, slow down. So a bot mom will just be, we're going to go front and fifth, front and fifth, yeah? So nice pointed foot, brush it as high as you can, and then close. Um, later on I'll be doing some stretching videos, so if your leg is not going as high as you like it, Stretch, 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 stretch. Mm -hmm. Morning, night, as much as you can, hold it. That's what gets your leg up. Nothing but flexibility. Yes. Okay. That and the brush. You want a the really brush. strong brush. You want to push into the floor. You want to feel your center into the floor through your legs so that you're really creating that strong brush that's strong enough to send your leg up. So you don't want to... Yeah, no body. And you also don't want to let the action of that leg throw your upper body around. So you're keeping this nice strong connection, nice strong and connected to your supporting leg, and it's, you're letting that leg go by itself in its socket, and you're not in the socket. Get thrown the main thing. all around the body. None of this. Yeah. Yeah, not pretty, not pretty, don't tilt. And also, my teacher, whether you're using a bar, we talked about this, um, you can use anything, a countertop, a bar, a chair. Like, if you don't have a ballet student and you're doing this at home, like, don't make excuses. Like literally grab a chair and hold on to the chair. What my teacher used to make us do was flex our hand at the bar so we couldn't grip it when we were doing this. So pushing your hand against the bar kind of helps you pull up on that side a little bit too. So just like a little thing that if we give you accommodation and you're like, I feel like I'm not, I'm like gripping and leaning. Maybe try flexing your hand and see what that does. Yeah, again, we'll give you a bottom accommodation. Um, so hopefully you'll join us for that. But these are grandma. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're on to our last little bar, Grand Bama. Same thing here, so we're going to do it very, very slow for you. So I'm going to help you out since we're going to do it slow. So we go through our tandu to our deje, and then we're going to go ahead and kick it all the way up as high as we can go. Yeah, and then we go slow and slow. Back through our deje, back through our tandu, and back to fifth. Yeah, so all the stuff we've already talked about, we're now using. That is why we do everything prior to this. Um, okay, so let's do our ground up. Um, here's the ground up combination for you guys. So let's just keep our arm up so we can just concentrate on the legs. Seven and eight, we go front and fifth. And front and fifth and front. Tandu and front and fifth. We go side and fifth and side and fifth and side. Tandu and side. Good fifth. We go back and fifth. Back and fifth. Back, tendu, and back. Good fit, we go side, and fit, and side, and fit, and side, tendu, and side. Good fit.